on 2 News at 10. Welcome back, everybody. Glad you're with us. It's the ninth largest aquarium in the United States, and this past week, the Living Planet Aquarium opened its doors. However, for founder and CEO Brent Anderson, the journey began a long time ago, as he tells Shauna Lake in this week's Person to Person. As a young man, Brent Anderson was asked, what would he do if he could not fail? Keeping that in mind, he went back to his childhood passion and followed his lifelong dream of opening an aquarium. Well, this week, that dream came true, and the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium opened its doors. It's been a crazy couple of weeks for you. I mean, is this just a dream come true? This has been everything all rolled into one. It's obviously the culmination of a lot of years of work in creating the aquarium. The last six to eight weeks have just been intense trying to focus and get everybody on board with the hundreds and hundreds of things we have to do to get ready to open, but we're finally here. This has been a passion of yours, and you just wanted Utahns to maybe love uh, marine life like, like you do? I, I did, and I've had that love of marine life since I was five years old. I love the story about your grandmother giving you a book at five years old, and it changed the destiny of your life. It completely uh, set me off in a direction, and that's one of the things that we you know, strive to do at the aquarium is to provide learning experiences and as well as you know, family time, because we never know which one of those children that come to visit might possibly be inspired. So tell me about the experience of being five, reading this book, and just knowing, having that aha moment where you knew what you wanted to do. Well, it was looking at the animals that lived under the ocean, and I was just fascinated with that. And I had to know everything I possibly could about that. And so I looked at the book for the first while and asked you know, my parents to read it to me, and eventually read it. And one of the pictures, there was a scuba diver. I asked my dad, what does he do? And my dad said he's a marine biologist, and so that was it, that's what I was gonna do. Mm -hmm. And obviously pursued that, and really focused on that you know, my entire life, all the way up till today. So this is the culmination of a dream, basically. I mean, what does that feel like to set out to do something and do it? Sometimes it's a little surreal, like I don't quite see it, and I do get glimpses of it. And I think that's because I'm so inside it, it's hard for me to view it from someone looking in. What? But I do get glimpses of it sometimes. The other night at opening it, uh, wow, <laughs> I'm kind of getting emotional thinking about it. It, um, it struck me as all these people were there and I was seeing the building, you know, mostly complete and, and all the all the designs that we had gone through and that's when kind of the blinders lifted up for just a second so I could see wow this is really this is really taking place. Where does the emotion come from? Part of it is is just the struggle of so long and so many times when it was just on the edge it could have gone either way and whether it was luck or stubbornness or persistence or whatever something always made it through but I think the other part though is I like sharing all this fascination that I have with life on earth. I think the, the little boy in me and that joy in seeing these things and, and sharing it with other people. And there's a very real possibility a five-year-old boy could sit in that aquarium and have his life changed the exact same way. I was five and seven and eight and, and living here in Utah and I didn't have this. And, you know, I just would have given anything for some place like this. And it's here. Thanks to you. It's been so nice to get to know you better person to person. And congratulations. Thank you. Wow, that was so moving. For more of Shauna's interview with Brent Anderson, visit our website, KUTV.com. Person to Person is every Sunday night, sponsored by Zions Bank, only here mm. on 2 News at 10. That was really good. That was. And you know, really that's a popular good. place, the new aquarium. My husband took our boys there today, and he said it was packed. They were waiting in a line to get in out in the snow, Lindsay. Yeah. The snow has fallen <laughs> there in Draper today.